Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Uh, we're on the Griffin Cliff Kim, uh, scenario. Oop, we got one of those for free. Let's break magic. I'm bored gamer girl. Taking you on this wild adventure of fantastical proportions. Um, yeah, okay, that sounds kind of lame. Oh well, hopefully you will, uh, forgive that. <clears throat> Okay, let's see here. I want to kill them as quickly and painlessly as possible. And I have spell points to spare. And that's sort of the plan here, that like, you know, when I run out of spell points, it'll be the same thing. Like we did in um, the Guardian Angels camp uh, scenario, where we'll run back to town and use that time or, you know, spend a turn there to get us set up. Oh, attacking my griffins. A jerk. Bye-bye! Ugh, frost ring is so good that way. Love it. Love it so much. Okay, good, you didn't kill one of my griffins. I was like, oh no. But there we go, and they are dead. It's awesome. I mean, this is another um, scenario where it's good to be aggressive. You don't want to let the computer opponents, you know, build up too much strength before you start just hammering them. Got hellhounds blocking every door. Um, yeah, a lot of these heroes, these little extra ones we got here, are, oh, expert leadership, excellent, um, are basically, you know, once we get everything that we need, they are basically just going to sit and collect troops until we need them, in which case they will, um, you know, sort of run troops out to our heroes. That is their sole purpose in life at the moment, or at least their sole purpose in our army. Okay, now let's see here. 17 and 10. I really do want to get more gold before too long. And building mage guilds are good. I'm going to get a town hall here. I'm going to get a town hall here just because I want, I want to make sure I have enough money um, so that I can purchase everything and still build troops. It's a it's a little bit of a balancing act, act this time. Not a balancing axe. A balancing act. Um. Alright, and Lord Hart, I guess, is also sort of just gonna, like, camp out here for the rest of the week until we can get him some more troops. And a horde of Magogs. That is more than I really want to deal with right now. So we will go to the lots of halberdiers. Goodness gracious. Pack of Cerberi. Ooh, those are kind of obnoxious. But we can take them. Hopefully. Sometimes I wish they would just have them in one group, because then I can just, like, lightning bolt them. But because there are, you know, all these little groups, they have more attacks. And even though they do less damage, they take longer to kill. Oh, good. Goody. Oh, you're going to go and attack them? <gasps> Those bastards. Hopefully none of the uh, other Sabrai will get, you know, morale bonuses or whatever and get to go again. Okay. Okay. Alright. Well, we are going to meteor shower these jerkwads. this way. Excellent. Die, you three-headed beasts. At least not doing too much damage to us. That's, uh, that's one little consolation we have here. And then we will just magic arrow this last dude. 
And this is why, you know, I mean, if we had just run through that first scenario really quickly, and, uh, and like, even the second scenario, if we hadn't, you know, had Adelaide go and get this stuff, I mean, she just wouldn't have the same, um, stats. Now, well, we already have that. Now, admittedly, she, does, she is wearing the, the shield, which gives her plus four, so that's why her stats are so huge there, but, but also, it's still, I mean, it still definitely helps that she has all these extra statistics, so that she can wail on people a little bit more. And we are going to need, mm, I don't know, we might, well, we can definitely take the few demons. Actually, we can probably take most all of these. Okay, we've got too many heroes at the moment. Um, so we'll send a hero off here to just sort of explore a little bit. And now we will buy stuff. We need a blacksmith in order to get the barracks, and that's important. And then we'll have this place. Ooh, actually. Okay, we're going to have this one also get a blacksmith so that it can build a barracks eventually and you will get nothing which is fine okay lots of hover deers again I'm like they couldn't just put them all together in one little thing they have to be spread out it's like they know that I want them all together, and therefore they decide not to do it that way for me. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay. I don't know. Ugh, and they're all spread out in a fashion that really makes them obnoxious to try and kill. And you're the one who doesn't have a meteor shower, because I didn't pass everything on all of you. Um, I don't know. Whatever, I guess we'll do that. Just kill them as fast as possible. As efficiently as possible. I mean, I'm supposed to have two shots with my ballista. You know, and I, I don't... <laughs> I mean, this might be asking for a lot, but I would love it if, you know... Okay. If I could have it work out where, you know... If I only use one shot, that I get to attack another, like, army or something, you know? But that would just be too awesome, and so the game won't let me do that. I already have too much of an advantage as it is, just, you know, being a human player as opposed to the computer. Uh, like, you have this option down here to do auto combat. I mean, it is horrendous. I have watched it sometimes, like, watch the auto combat. And it's just ridiculous. Like, I mean, yeah, sometimes, you know, you'll win. But it's... They just play so stupidly. And it's... It's very frustrating for someone who... Like, oh goodness. But, I mean, again, I, I like the battles. The battles are a big part of it. So it's not, like... A big deal. But it's just highly entertaining. Alright. Let's see here. Um, okay, well, I don't need resurrection. Um, I guess we'll meteor shower these three? Sure, we'll meteor shower those three. Ah! I like the sound they make when they die. Is that morbid sounding? I guess it probably is, but what can I say? I do. I like the sound that they make. Ah! It amuses me. Oh, he's going to have to get some more uh, spell points soon. Now, the last scenario went very quickly, but this is a larger map, and this scenario will definitely take longer. I'm just going to uh, put that disclaimer out here. I mean, I guess I could be wrong. Maybe I'll just zip right through it, but it's a larger map, so it'll, it'll take more... Uh, take more episodes. But, you know, there's more stuff to enjoy that way. 
Hands of Toby Cross. So this is again the forgetfulness one. Several scorpicores. Ooh! Oh, I know what those are. Ooh, I want it. I want it very badly. I want it. My precious. A little golem action there. Not that I can do a good golem voice. I'm not really good at voices. I'm gonna be quite frank about that. I'm just gonna sit here. Because I have nothing to do for you yet. I have nothing for you to do yet. And you will sit there. And you will sit in here. Okay. I want to get myself a dirks. Build a marketplace. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to spread this stuff out sort of evenly, um, or as evenly as possible. I still have nothing for Lord Hart to do until he gets some more troops. And those horde of magogs are kind of nasty. I mean, that's a lot of magogs. It wouldn't be as big of a deal, but they're ranged. So, I'm like, I don't think my 14 dudes are really gonna have a lot to do with that. Okay, we'll just defend. And hopefully watch the pikemen line up nicely for me. That was not nice, actually. That was... Kind of obnoxious. What is with that setup? Um. Oh, whatever. I guess we'll just magic arrow them to death. Although I'm running out of spell points with Christian too, so he'll have to go and uh, sit in town for a moment. <sighs> sit in a town for a spell. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I hear what I say and I'm like, what possessed me to say that? It sounded. I'm quite idiotic. Okay. We will take this dude out. And then we'll defend. Yes, attack the ballista. That is what I like to see. And we're not going to lose any pikemen on this. Which is good. Which is excellent. I mean, we killed 40 total units, you know, and we didn't lose any of our 14, so I consider that successful. Alright, pack of demons. This will probably be our last, uh, our last battle of the day. Way to finish it off. Lots of, uh, lots of attacking. Um, we're gonna wait, because I'm only gonna get two of them, and hopefully, hoping they'll be stupid and clumped together. Clump, 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 clump. Yes. Clump, clump, clump. Ooh, no, don't make a little line. I want you to clump. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see here. I can't get all four of them in Meteor Shower. No. So we will frost ring these three. And then send our pikemen down here. Oh, we're running out of time. Alright, we're going to be pretty quick with this. Um, yeah. Um, speedy, speedy, speedy. You guys have basically gone nowhere that I want you to go. That's kind of obnoxious. Alright. This here. Shoot one of these dudes. We should, thankfully, hopefully. Um, okay, so this is the end of this round, or uh, this episode. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Bora Gamer Girl saying bye-bye. See you next time.